You, you're, you're a woman out of time. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. How old are you? I'm 28. Okay. What do you got for me? Are you part of the walking dread? Um, I don't think so. Um, I'm in a relationship that I've been in for five years, so I don't think so, but I'm not engaged yet. What do you mean yet? Yet, as far as I know it's going to happen, I'm just kind of, I'm just basically waiting. How do you know it's going to happen? Well, for one, the person that I'm with, like I said, I've been with him for five years. We have a okay. child together, so okay. it's not. No, no, it's no, no, not no. A, I'm, what I'm asking is how do you know a, an engagement is going to happen? This was discussed as far as him telling me. Like, this isn't anything that. Okay. And when did you, um, when did you, when did he tell you this? Year one. He's not going to marry you. And you know it. I don't, I don't agree. Okay. The reason why I don't agree. No, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Listen, I'll let you, let you tell your story. Five years. You've already had a baby and you're telling me he told you in year one, he was going to marry you, but there have been five year ones and a person has come out of you. He's not marrying you. Well, it'd be different if all those five years were the best five years. No, I don't care, man. Had. I asked you, how do you know it's going to happen? And you said, because it's been discussed. I said, when you said year one in the chat room, Ladies, how many women think this man is going to propose to her? Ladies only. So she disagrees with me. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. But a man wants to marry a woman. He damn sure puts a ring on it and he does it before you have the baby. There's no reason to marry you. You already had the baby and you've proven that you'll stick around just upon the just on a conversation about an engagement for five years. I, Say I'm wrong. You prove you'll stay around for five years just on a conversation about an engagement. No, like I said, it's it's deeper than just the, the It always is. There's always details, ma'am, but the net net of it is. Why do you believe he's going to marry you now and he ain't married you yet? Well, for one, like I said, I don't think that someone will waste their time for okay. five years and have sure a they baby. Would. Sure and... they would. Let me tell you why they would. Let me tell you why they would. Let me tell you why they would. Since uh, you want to ride this log ride, let's tell you why they would. Uh, as long as he can string you along, he's not paying child support. <laughs> As long as he can string you along, he can still hit it from the back. Why would he be paying child support if he's he's? Oh, because when he breaks up with you, you are gonna go down to it. Because when you is... listen, listen, you want to know? I'll tell you. Because when you finally accept the fact that he ain't gonna marry you, and you break up with him, you gonna run on down to child protect. You gonna run on down to DHS and put him on paper. No, he know that. that I know. Okay, well, that's why. But you asked why would somebody stay? Because he's not paying, ma'am. I don't wish. Here's the thing. I don't wish you any particular bad. But man, we've heard these stories for too many. You ladies all think you're special. No, Dude, I think that. If, why has if, he married you yet? Because of my attitude, my. But he put a baby in you. Well, of course, I don't think I started with the attitude. I don't think I started. But you're still together. But you're still together. 
Yes or no? Yeah, we are still together. Right. How much does it cost to file for? How much does a marriage certificate cost? How much like? How much does marriage license? I'm not sure. Less than a hundred bucks. Well, my thing is, I guess I've put so many stipulations on how I want to get married mm -hmm. that. Okay. It, and how's well, this? I'm just how do you how do you want to be get how do you want to get married? Well, first, I wanted to I we he took me to get a ring, my ring my finger sized. On top of that, like I said, I told him how I want to go about moving to the next level. I want to make sure I'm in a house. We already have a child. We're in a in an apartment. I want to be in a house. I want to have certain things in place before we just such as such as a home. Hmm. He feels like he's earned. Let me ask pressure. you now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now you how old again? I'm 28. Now, why do you think? Or why why are you trying to do all this stuff now after you've had a baby? You've already done the most critical thing a, nut, a woman can do for a man. And you're telling me that, well, before we do something as serious as marriage. Yeah, I, I have need... to have a home. We have to. We oh, shit. Have... She said it. No, you've already done the most serious thing you can do. What the French toast are you talking well, about? I can't turn back now. I can't but you, go back. And that's the point. That, oh, so, geez, she's not getting it. She's not getting it. What is there not? What, is, what am I not getting? What do you think I don't you're get? Not, I'm thinking you, you honestly don't get that what you're talking about matters not. You already have the baby. You already are a family. You just need to go formalize it and move on down the path. If he was going to marry you, he would have married you. All this stuff you're putting on top of it. Is just another one of one of these illusions to make you feel better. It's how about this? It's feeling some sort of emotional need, but I think you know and he knows that y'all aren't gonna go the distance. But if you can say it's because of a house or because of this or that, then that gives you plausible deniability. Ma'am, if he was gonna marry you, he'd have married you five years ago. It ain't got it got it took you to get your ring size. How much do you need? It doesn't cost anything to go get married. All this well, home and everything else, you already got the kid. Well, like I said, I think you're, of course, you are going to side from the man's point of view. So I'm going to I'm a, I'm a side from what makes sense. I'm, me being I, honest with myself, I know that I'm, yeah. I've made it difficult for yeah. it to be taken to the next level. I, I can't honestly say that. I didn't say you didn't, ma'am, but I would say if a man wants to marry you, he's gonna marry you. But see, here's but I'm and I'm using this as a kind of a teaching lesson because so many women really truly believe they control when marriage happens. This woman truly believes she's in charge of this process. And nothing I say is going to change her mind. She truly believes this. The only thing she controls is access to her body and who makes a baby. She doesn't control whether or not a marriage happens. Who thinks that if this man actually came up and dropped to a ring, who, who proposed to her and said, let's go get married at, at the Justice of the Peace next weekend, if she want, that she would say no. She want to be with him, you marry him. They already got a baby. I don't I don't think you you're understanding what I'm saying. I'm basically yeah, I understand that you are I understand that you are deluded. I get what I'm you're deluded? saying. Yeah, you are. Yep. Yep. You really are. Because you what honestly is, think you honestly think that first off, you think a home and all this other stuff is going to make you any more secure. It's just what the thing. I'm saying is it's I, just the thing, ma'am. It's just I the thing. I understand that. So with me putting so many stipulations on how I want to go about the next uh -huh. step, right, has made the situation uncomfortable. Right. Made him feel like he's uh -huh. pressured to. Right, 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 right. But here's the thing, ma'am. Those stipulations are, are there for what? To make it easier to marry you? No, what? it makes it easier for us to continue to have a family. I have no, ma'am. See, listen to what I just said. 
Listen to what I just said, audience. She puts stipulations in place that she knows that she says it's making it harder for her to get married. Why would a woman that wants to marry a man make it harder for him to marry her, especially after they have a child? Well, I'm not. The reason why I'm bringing it up is not because that's how I want to go about it. That is what, congratulations, that's ma'am. The, I get it. I get it. And ma'am, I'll be, I'll be dead honest with you. This is going to end poorly. Can I? Okay. Because you have a child. And ma'am, I got to tell you, you sound either deluded or selfish because you already have a baby. You already have a kid. And if you're going to do something, you and the father need to formalize your situation to keep it moving. But you're so worried about the sim- what a house means to you. Yeah, Man, and right? that's why I brought But it what up. it means to you is it means shit. It's just a house. It's a mortgage note. It's not like he's going to buy you a house. You're still going to have to pay for it. Well, so, the point is you... All right. I'm going to get on down to the next one. This, this is a waste of time. Waste of time. Woo! The walking dread that I am so sorry for you, my friend. I am sorry. I'm sorry that that's your child's mother because you are not going to be able to make this woman happy. And when she finally wraps her mind around the fact that she's not in control of any of this and that she chose a man who, who is what he is, You are going to be up under courts, up under paperwork. She is going to make your life hell. Absolute hell. For stupid reasons. I need a house. We need to buy a house. That's a mortgage. You don't own a house. You won't own a house for 30 more years. It's symbolism over substance. But when you're talking to a woman like that, who really thinks she knows what she's talking about? Shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right. She is going to make it make sense. But that's for those are the homo keeping score. Been together five years. She's already crapped out a kid. And in year one, they talked about marriage. There's no marriage happening here. Adios mio, my God. I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make him buy me a house. And guys, before we proceed into the next phase of the video, this is the phase one, and we are about to enter into the phase two. Him against a 50 years old lady. But let me add my thoughts to this one before we enter into that one. The truth is that women just always want to hear things that will just make them feel good about themselves because logically this makes absolute no sense every man watching even the, some of the women watching this video just can just see between the lines this guy is not gonna marry you had it been that the lady told godfather that oh he told me he was going to marry me let's say after the five years then it would have made sense but from the onset this guy told you he was gonna marry you and Along the line, he got you pregnant and you brought a baby out of yourself. And this guy has not been able to marry you. And the only thing that is making you feel like he's going to marry you is the fact that he has taken you for rank measurement. And it is 100% a game on this lady. But as usual, women always acting based on their emotions. She cannot just read between the lines and knowing that, okay, this guy is just trying to keep me around for sex or you know like godfather explained not being put on child support but she's not able to see it and godfather is just telling you this is what it is and if i was to be this lady i would have been so thankful and would have been so appreciative for this information because like it or not just pay attention to the conversation you just can't see that this lady have no clue about what is going on in the real world She thinks that everything is just as, you know, seen or perceived. That's what 
you think or that's what you are perceiving from the guy but the reality is the guy is not going to get married to you what is stopping him from marrying you and because she say a bunch of stupid things now she just have to make it look like okay she's the one that doesn't want to get married and so therefore she's making it difficult for the guy to marry her and when in reality we all know that your prayer point is for this guy to get married to you oh, no, no, Good morning, no, no, no. Kevin. how are you i'm very well thank you and you good uh what's your disagreement well, first of all how old are you i'm 50 years old all right so you have you been on before What's your conflict? Oh, I did try to come on once about okay. a week ago, but I didn't okay. get to speak. What's your disagreement? So my disagreement is on the three date rule for sexual intercourse. Okay. The advice for the women. Okay. And the disagreement I have is that that advice is potentially quite dangerous for younger ladies. Who, who okay. So what, what, when I say three dates, what do I mean? Well, you explained it, that the three dates don't necessarily have to be in the same week, but that if a woman finds a man attractive, she shouldn't be accepting a date. So there is that premise that she should find mm -hmm. him attractive mm -hmm. and that when they go for dates, they could spread the dates out. So, and you said it could be spread out over a month or two. But I still feel that even if they spread it out over two months, it's not enough for you to know, especially if you know what, rate, know what, to know whether that man is really relationship minded. Number one, uh, uh, hold, 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 on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, you got to say what I said. A woman should not go out with a man on date number one if she's not attracted to him. Sexy. Find, attracted to him, find him sexually attractive, but you should not go on date number two if you don't, if you don't, if you would not have sex with him. So by date number three, see what I'm presuming is I'm dealing with reasonable adults. Now, you can say that a woman may want to know if he's relationship material or not relationship material. Do respect, ma'am. You're injecting your standards on. Not everybody's looking for a relationship, but do you understand? That from a man's standpoint, women play lots of games. There was a news, was the New York Post or New York Times wrote an article last uh, spring, summer. One out of three women surveyed admitted to accepting a dinner date or higher with the men that they had no sexual attraction to. Where did those men get their money and time and their feelings back? Where did they get all that back? So, due respect. A man asks a woman out on a date, Annette, because he wants to have sex with her. It's the socially acceptable way of me telling you, hey, I like to have sex with you. That's what it means. And I assume that we're adults and we understand what it means. If you don't want to have sex with them, cool. They don't accept this date. If you want a relationship with this guy, talk to him on the phone. But here's the thing. A man's a man will cut off his non-sexual time and attention with a woman who's not fulfilling her side of the contract, her side of the deal. There has to be a... Can I respond? Well, yeah, because at what point do you think a woman should have, should have sex with a man that she's attracted to? I think when she's ready, but please, I was reading Women's Health just to make hmm? sure that it's not me feeling bad. So mm -hmm. in women's health, mm -hmm. it says that when a woman has sex with a man, she releases oxytocin, which makes her feel, feel the hormones. No, I get it. I know what it is. Makes her feel more connected and uh -huh. more emotionally in, invested. Uh -huh. But men don't have that. Men no, no, no. That's not true. That's not true. We just don't have as much. Okay. But they release dopamine. Men can have sex with no feelings. Now, if we go back to what you said so, before about so, what, what age, when, man, when? I when? think once she's asked, once they both agree on the relationship goals and both agree to be exclusive, and the man knows he wants to be exclusive. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing with that, ma'am. Good luck with that. 
Uh, there's a video on my channel right now, a woman in Canada who tried that and a guy, she went out with a guy for a month or some change and he cut it off. Ma'am, you're 50 and you, aren't you married? I, oh, I was, I have two, four children and a Thank grandchild. Thank you. But you're, but, but you're not out here dating. So I think, I know who you are, but, you I have need a to, but you need to sit back and watch because you're not in this. You don't know how this works. You, you're, you're a woman out of time. I mean, I have I, a I, no, ma'am, ma'am. I'm trying to be polite about this, but you are married and a grandmother. You're a woman out of time. I'm, we're dealing with sexually active adults. And you act in the way you're speaking is the women are the only ones who are risking something here. I reject that 100 percent. You talk about a woman's ability to bond in this net, but you haven't said a damn thing about a woman abusing or taking a man's time, resources and attention in him. That's wrong. Well, it happens every day, ma'am. And the thing is, men are, men are, so men are saying that, look, if you're not going to put out, we're not going out. And that's that's, that's cool. Not to do it. OK, well, there's really not. I mean, here's the thing, man. And here's a, and like it or not, people are having sex before they're going out right now. So it's not like sex is hard to get like at our age where people waited. People are actually having sex before they go on a date. It's called Tinder. They swipe left, Netflix and chill, swing by the house. There, there are people who actually right now will say, I won't go out on a date with a woman until I had sex with her. So I got to move on to the next one because that that we're not going to agree on that one. But ladies, understand something. When a man asks you out on a date, he's asking you to have sex. And guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. More respect on the legend, the Godfather. May he so rest in peace and may his name stay alive forever. I mean, when he said, you're a woman out of time, it, it took me off, man. A woman out of time, 50, and that's very true. You know, keep checking his videos on YouTube. He has so much knowledge in his videos, not just knowledge. Some are fun to watch, just entertaining, you know, how the back and forth is being done. It's just always crazy and all that. So I think checking his video out, I think you, you will not be missing a lot. And I think you'll be doing yourself a service on that so keep checking it out now the woman was saying men can have sex without feelings or something which is quite true most men you know a man can have sex without any kind of emotions attached to it and women do it too but this is how women do it when a woman is uh, one thing most guys have to understand it. when a woman is having sex with you it's just two things it's either she's connected to you or she want a favor from you. That's just a reality. Most women don't just have sex with men just because they are having feelings towards the men. Nowadays, most of the times, women have sex with men just because of financial benefits. That's just a reality. So coming in to make it look like women are still the women we used to know or gone are the days women is just crazy. Most women are just having sex with men nowadays just because of the favors that they are going to get. And most of the times, these women, they just walk around with games. They try to make you invest in them first. And after investing in them, you become kind of stuck in it because you've already invested. So you want to just have something for the investment that you've made. And so forth, they get you and furnish you because you'll be taking off the amount you spent. Let's say you spent a thousand bucks on a lady on a date i'm just saying or let's say 500 bucks and they always give you the impression that if you give them your best you are going to get the bucks that's what they always do so it will make you keep i mean hoping for you know getting sex from her and she will keep finessing you because anytime she requests for something you think of the investment that you've made okay if i don't give her this support or if i don't help her she's just gonna cut all ties from me and i've lost my money so that's how they always get men around to finance them so i always say if you're a guy i mean if you're not having enough money if you're not someone that is rich do not invest too much in the women because once you if you are poor and you invest something like 500 bucks in a lady you always be thinking of that money and she is going to use that as an advantage to finance you more because now She's well aware that you are already invested, so you are not going to walk away to allow your investment to be lost. So that's what they use to finesse 
most guys and that's always the game like it or not women are walking around with games nowadays on guys it is what it is i'm just keeping it real guys keep checking his videos on youtube he has so much knowledge in it you know like i said if you watch his videos at least you are going to take something out of it you are just not doing yourself a disservice watching this video that's something i can guarantee you some people has discovered his videos after his person and it's quite sad but i think with the video still being around we can still be learning something from his video even though he's not around guys that brings us to the end of today's video until we meet in the next video peace i'm out